This is the story of the second emperor of Western Han Dynasty. After Emperor Gaozu of Han passed away, his eldest son, Liu Ying, inherited the throne when he was 17 years old and became the second emperor of Western Han. The Chinese historians address him as Emperor Hui of Han. Describe him as a merciful and kind-hearted monarch. Liu Ying ruled for seven years and died when he was age 24. He was a kind-hearted and merciful monarch. However, what caused his death? The main reason because of his mother, Empress Dorje Lu, giving him too much pressure and even mentally torture him that strikes hard on his mental health. Empress Dorje Lu was the real ruler of Han after Emperor Gaozu died. Liu Ying was merely her political puppet as all major political decisions has to be granted by her for final judgments. Originally, Liu Ying has his own idealistic mind of ruling the kingdom. However, Empress Dowager kept interfering him which strikes his confidence and passion on ruling. Two years later, Liu Ying decided to conspire against his mother. However, Empress Dowager found out in advance and executed everyone that helped him as a warning to her own son. Even worse, the Empress Dowager murdered Liu Ying's favorite brother, Liu Rui, the favorite son of Emperor Gaozu, and his mother is the favorite concubine of Emperor Gaozu as well. Not long after the death of Liu Rui, the Empress Dowager tortured concubine Qi by cutting off her hands and legs, made her blind and deaf. After the torture, she dumped her into the toilet hole and asked Liu Ying to come and watch her artwork. Liu Ying fainted after he saw what his own mother had done, and since he no longer interested in ruling and all he did was strong in his own bed with his concubines. A few years later, he died in age 24, which is BC 188, 28th of September. And his last words was, I can't face my people anymore after seeing what my mother had done. This part of the history taught me power could easily corrupt a person's mind and turn them into someone they are not meant to be. Many family enterprises went collapsed because they were too focusing on fighting on consolidating their own power and forgot to improve the organization as a team. This is what enterprises nowadays should be think of and should be unsure of not to make the same mistake.